Hello friends from now we are going to start my lectures in English too first of all we are going to discuss the basic financial elements of accounting so without wasting time let's get started the first thing we are going to discuss is basic financial elements of accounting <clears throat> it is sometimes called basic pillars of account there are five financial elements of accounting which are assets Number second, expenses. Number third, liabilities. Number fourth, revenue. And number last, owners' equity. So we quickly jump to assets. What are assets? The first element of accounting is asset. We have heard many things about asset, but we do not know the main concept of assets. First, we need to know what is the definition of accounting. So let's start. Assets are the economic resources which are owned for the purpose of taking benefit in current and future operations. Assets are the economic resources. Economic resource means when we have to take benefit we have to pay something there are two types of resources number one is called free resources number second is called economic resources so when we say economic resources we have to pay something to take benefit that's it assets are the economic resources because we have to pay something for taking benefit how is it owned how why is it owned because it is owned for the purpose of taking benefit in current and future operations. Assets provide us benefit in current and future operation. How? Just an example. We have gone to schools. There are furniture, boards, markers, buildings. They are all assets. If we remove these assets like benches, furniture, boards, markers, so student would not come over there. If a student do not come over there, the benefit would not be taken. So assets provide benefit in current and future operations. I hope you have got the concept of assets. Assets is divided into two categories. One is called current assets, and number second is called fixed assets. 
So let's talk about what is current assets. Current assets. Current assets are those assets, those assets from which we expect to take benefit within a year. those assets from which we expect to take benefit within a year the most important word is expect to take benefit we expect to take benefit within a year we expect that we would take benefit within a year within 12 months within a year so those assets from which we expect to take benefit within a year called current assets there are some examples which we say in accounting heads of accounts so there are some heads of accounts which we should know about number one is cash in hand cash at bank Merchandise inventory. Merchandise inventory. RBC stock. Account receivable. Or debtor. Prepaid. Our supplies so these are the examples so these are the heads of accounts of current asset cash in hand those cash which we have within a business within a business cash at bank those cash which is available at our bank account merchandise inventory those goods which are available for the sale which are available for the sale it is called merchandise inventory or stock account receivable for example i am a shopkeeper i sell goods i sell merchandise i sell merchandise on credit so i have to take money i have to receive money from my customer so i would say account receivable account means credit receivable or debtor i am account receivable or debtor the opposite party would be creditor and account payable we will discuss it later prepaids those expenses which are paid in advance it's called prepaids it is sometimes called prepayments And number last is supplies, stationary items like rubber, sharpener, scale, calculator, or many things. So we have got to know what is current assets. So quickly move on to what is fixed assets. Fixed assets are non current assets or property plant and equipment so these all are same fixed asset non current asset and property plant and equipment so what is it fixed assets are those assets from which we expect to take benefit more than a year those assets those assets 
from which we expect to take benefit more than a year it is called fixed assets for example furniture land building equipment machinery aircrafts automobiles vehicles these are called fixed assets those assets from which we expect to take benefit more than a year more than a 12 months okay fixed asset is also divided into three parts which are fixed tangibles fixed intangibles or natural resources so what are these <clears throat> fixed tangible means those fixed assets from which we expect to take benefit more than a year and which can be seen by our naked eyes which can be which can be seen which have physical existence so these are called fixed tangible asset examples are <coughs> building can we see yes we can see furniture can we see yes we can see machinery machines or equipment so these are the examples of fixed tangible assets fixed intangible assets those assets those fixed assets from which we expect to take benefit more than air and which cannot be seen which can't be seen which don't have physical existence for example goodwill or copyright patents licensing goodwill your fame your fame your uh, this, this is called goodwill copyright copyright means the right of use any content like poetry singing like poetry uh, literature book anything which i have the right to own it which i have the right to use it no one can use it without my permission so i have the right it is called copyright patents i have the right to use the specific design the specific model the design can be seen but the right but the right cannot be seen licensing licensing means i have the right to use the specific geographical location no one can use that location i have the right these means right right copyrights patents or license natural resources from which we extract from the earth from the land like mining oil mining coal mining it is called natural resources it can be seen but fixed tangible assets and natural resources are both different things so i hope that you have got the main concept of assets if you liked it so like so press the like button and subscribe it and share it and don't forget to give your remarks in the comment box thank you so much we will come again